Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at the format we're using to find the numerical coefficients in a binomial expansion. It's called the reduced technique and it's written like this. We have parentheses, two numbers, n and m, and by definition that means the top number factorial divided by the bottom number factorial divided by the difference between the two numbers factorial. For example, 10 and 7 means 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial divided by 10 minus 7 factorial or of course 3 factorial. Now let's take a look here. Let's say we have an expansion of a plus b to the 10 power. First of all notice that the 10 up here is the same as the 10 up here. So that's the, ind the indication of the exponent used for the expansion. Then the number at the bottom right here the number at the bottom is the same number as the exponent of the second variable in the binomial. And then we have 10 minus 7, which is 3. This is the exponent of the first term in the binomial. So that's where the 3 comes from. So a to the third power, that's 10 minus 7, or 3. b to the seventh power, that's right here and the exponent a plus b quantity to the 10th power is over there. So that's the relationship between the term that we want to find the numerical coefficient for and the reduced technique of how to find that coefficient. All right, let's go ahead and see what number that is based upon what we have there. So we're going to write this out. So this is equal to 10 factorial. That's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. So that's 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial which is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and then that's multiplied times 3 factorial which is 3 times 2 times 1. Now notice if we have 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial that means that 7 factorial can then divide evenly into the, this portion of the 10 factorial. So this whole thing and this thing simply cancels out. You have a 1 and a 1, which makes things a whole lot simpler. Then we can simplify things a little bit more. This 3 will cancel out with this 9, and this 2 will cancel out with this 8. becomes a 4. And now when we multiply the numerator, we get 3 times 4, which is 12 times 10, which is equal to 120. So you can see that then the numerical coefficient we're looking for is 120, which is what we obtained over here. True, you can get that relatively quickly using the Pascal's principle, but of course when you get all the way up to 10, that'll take you a while. Sometimes this is just cleaner and easier to work with that. Now again, notice, let's do this again. Uh, let's uh, come up here and say 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 3 factorial and sometimes you can just look at this and go, okay, I know that this is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 all the way down to times 1. This is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 and so forth. So sometimes without actually having to write it out, you could simply say that this gives me 10 times 9 times 8. Anything below that is canceled out by this. So this is simply 10 times 9 times 8. That cancels out the 7 factorial and 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1. And then you can simplify this. So this becomes 3 and 1, 4 and 2, and this is 1. And so this is 12 times 10 or 120. So you can see that you can do this relatively quickly without having to write all that out like this. Simply realizing that 7 factorial is the last 7 factors of 10 factorial, which only leaves you 10, 9, and 8. And then the 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. And that is how it's done. I think the way it's That's an interesting, interesting observation. So what you're seeing is when you see something like this, and let me put a line here, if we have 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 3 factorial, you could write this as 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial divided by, here we have 7 factorial times 3 factorial, and then this cancels out with that, and that makes it a lot easier. Yep, that's another way of looking at it. Uh, typically, I've simply looked at it visually like this and go realizing that 7 on down will cancel out with this so I don't have to write it out. But it's a good visual to see it like that as well. Very nice. Let's chance some mistakes. 
and less chance of mistakes. That is definitely true. Versus <laughs> 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 bad physicists. <laughs>